Hello, and thank you for joining. My name is Jesse Snow, and this is Daily Bread. Today, we're going to start reading out of Exodus chapter 24, verse 1. Now, new visitors are always welcome. So after you leave your loving thoughts in the comments, make sure you share this to Facebook and Twitter. And before we get started, let's open in a word of prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Here's Exodus chapter 24, verse 1. Now he said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you, Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship from afar. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come near, nor shall the people go up with him. So Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, and all the judgments. And all the people answered with one voice, and said, All the words which the Lord has said, we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and he rose early in the morning, and built an altar at the foot of the mountain, and the twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Then he sent young men of the children of Israel, whom offered burnt offerings, and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen to the Lord. And Moses took half the blood and put it in basins, and half the blood he sprinkled on the altar. Then he took the book of the covenant, and read in the hearing of the people. And they said, All that the Lord has said we will do, and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, and said, This is the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you according to all these words. Then Moses went up also, Aaron, Nedeb, Abu, and seven, seventy of the elders of Israel. Then they saw the God of Israel. And there was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of sapphire stone, and it was like a very it was like the very heavens in its clarity. But on the nobles of the children of Israel he did not lay his hands, so they saw God, and they ate and drank. Then the Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain, and be there, and I will give you tablets of stone, and the law and the commandments which I have written, that you may teach them. So Moses arose with his assistant Joshua, and Moses went up to the mountain of God. And he said to the elders, Wait here for us until we come back to you indeed. Aaron and her are with you. If any man has difficulty, let him go to them. Then Moses went up to the mountain, and a cloud covered the mountain. Now the glory of the Lord rested on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And on the seventh day he called to Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the Lord was like a consuming fire on the top of the mountain in the eyes of the children of Israel. So Moses went into the midst of the cloud and went up into the mountain. And Moses was on the mountain forty days and forty nights. I'm going, to stop. I'm going to stop right there at Exodus chapter 25. I'd like to thank everybody again for joining. I really do hope you enjoyed reading along with me. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to continue to read along with me, you can subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for when I upload the videos. Now, next time we're going to start reading out of Exodus chapter 25. But before we go, let's close in a word of prayer. Lord God, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your healing power. Lord, thank you for your strength. Strength and faith. Lord, thank you for carrying us through hard times. And allowing us to experience those wonderful good times too. Thank you for the hope of heaven and, and a life after. God, you are awesome. In your name we pray. Amen.